say as long as this gate is closed, as long as this scar of a wall is permitted to stand, it is Hello. not the German question alone. Hello. Stay We're back. Jealous. I'm jealous of Nick Jonas and his incredibly fit body. <laughs> That's great. It really is, though. He's killing it. He really is. Making a huge comeback. Good for you, Nick Jonas. <laughs> it's like everyone was so upset when the Jonas Brothers broke up, but I think it happened for a reason. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if this is Nick Jonas now, I support it. At first, I didn't like, because remember this when he like tried coming out just himself first? And that was, was a like, long time ago, right? was like, I want someone to love. The song, no. I Am. I don't remember that. And like, I didn't like him then. I was like, wow, like, look at him. How long doesn't like that? Nick Jonas? Come on. Um, I don't remember, but it was maybe, like, junior year of high school. Because they broke up a couple times, didn't mm-hmm. they? Or they, they just stopped for a couple times, and then yeah. they came back, and then they stopped again. They stopped oh. mid-tour. One yeah, they, that was this last time. Yeah, the last time they broke up, they stopped mid-tour, which is really disappointing for all the fans. I know Kevin is married, Nick mm-hmm. Jonas is doing his thing. What is Joe doing right Isn't now? Isn't Joe getting married? Is he? Is he really? I don't know. I'm making things that up today. Know. Probably not. Who knows? Um, but anyway... It's time for regular news. Regular news. I have this like sound effect thing. Let's try it again. Hold on. Okay. It's uh, probably not going to work, but it's on my phone. Wait. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> regular regular news. news. That was good. That was great. Okay, thanks. This app that I spent $2 on. <laughs> for you paid for it? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's really not a big deal when you think about it, because like, oh my god, 99 cents for an app? I'm not mm-hmm. downloading that, but it's just like 99 cents. Is there other sounds on it, or is just that one new oh, sound? Oh yeah, do you want to hear that? other sounds? Sure. We have some like that. really interesting ones that I'll probably never get the chance to use, so I might as well use it now. I have applauses for when we say something really funny or really cool. Oh, that's great. <laughs> We need to actually <laughs> use this. Honestly. Yeah. When we make a good point, we'll, like, say all these things. <laughs> I keep getting pop-ups for, like, um, Geico. Um, okay, I have Friday. Geico. It's Friday. Friday. Gotta get That's my girl. Friday. Rebecca. Rebecca Black. Oh, I have hump day, which is good for today, because it's hump day. Hump day. <laughs> Can you guys <laughs> hear those? Hey. Oh. I feel like Oh, I have Patrick going, little, 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 little. Oh, yeah. Little, 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 little. little, little. <laughs> So annoying. Okay, and anyway. Wait, wait, one more. I have Toy Story. This one's so good. <laughs> oh, that's You've got friends. I love that song. Okay, anyway. You. Back to regular news. All right, Brandy, you do what you see. said. <laughs> regular news. Okay. Regular news. Regular news. Okay. So, the first um, thing that we have for you guys is November. November. <laughs> All 50 states were freezing yesterday. Probably Florida. Florida. Probably today. Yeah, and Probably. Hawaii. Really? And Hawaii. Yeah. Wow. Hawaii. It was crazy. It was apparently the, col- the coldest November morning since ni- uh, 1976, wow. according to the Washington Post. That's insane. I don't think it's going to um, get any warmer until Sunday. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah so. but I heard that it's supposed to get to like 62 on Sunday. Because technically, this is a polar vortex that we're in, so it's just like a big wave of cold. Oh my Next week, that was supposed to be like 40s. I heard we're supposed to have a bad winter, though. Yeah, yeah. like last year, but a little bit worse, so. Great. <laughs> no classes <laughs> ever. Ooh, yeah. I'm excited Do you remember that. all those snow days we got? We got, like, four. Yep. We had it every, we had, like, once, once a week. Yes, fe- it was once February. a week, definitely. I remember. That was great. That yeah. was one of the best times. I remember waking up to, like, a text message from on my phone or just, like, going on the Iona site in the morning. Just being, there like, is no greater testing. feeling than I don't think I left messages. my dorm room at all. Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> Me and Katie lived together last year. She did not get out of her cocoon of a bed. <laughs> I rarely got out of my cocoon. She looked so cozy all the time. <laughs> um, But, yeah, winter doesn't technically begin until December 21st. So, can you imagine yeah. what it's going to be like then? Wow, I just hope it snows on Christmas. If it snows on Christmas, I'll be the happiest girl ever. It hasn't snowed on Christmas in a while. Since 2001, I don't think. It's. What? I remember... Like, it's been, like, a long time, yeah. Yeah, because I just remember one year, like, waking up to snow. And then, of Hawaii <laughs> and then all those years after that, I expected it to snow on Christmas. Like, I thought it was, like, a, a natural law that yeah, it Yeah, me to snow. too. Because, like, you see all these movies. It's just like, oh, it's a beautiful mm-hmm. snowfall, Christmas morning, open the presents. Polar but, Express. Yeah, exactly. And, like, it never happens. I don't <laughs> care if it actually snows on Christmas, as long as there's snow on the ground when yeah. I'm opening my presents. Not what is your hard. favorite Christmas movie? Go. Wait, give me a second. I don't, I don't <laughs> too know. much pressure. Um, there's too many. I can't. The f- my favorite like person, like the like actual acting one is this is called Snow Globe. It's on ABC Family. It's like an original ABC Family movie with um I think it's Christina Milian, and I really like Christina Milian for some reason. And she's in it, and it's good. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that's what her name is. And then it's between that and Holiday in Handcuffs with Melissa Joan Hart and that Mario Lopez. <laughs> I never heard of that or seen it. But um, I think the cartoon one, the best one, was probably... Santa Claus is Coming Today. Yeah. No, I like the Peanut specials. They're Those, the best. Those right. are good, too. Those are good. Santa Claus is Coming to Town is good, too. I like I that. I just like put one foot in front of, of the other... other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. My best friend just sent me a quiz f- saying, do you really know the lyrics to every Frozen song? Oh, no. Caitlin definitely should have done does. that one for you. It was torture watching Frozen with Caitlin, the amount of times that I have, because she knows every single word, every single lyric to every single song. And I couldn't enjoy the movie. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, well, back to my regular news. <laughs> she is not She's even like, going to no. comment on it. Okay, <laughs> cool. I have an Thank obsession cool. with Frozen. We have established this many times. And we're not done talking about it. No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we have some explaining to do. All right. Anyway, next part of regular news. Do you guys know the internet meme Slenderman? No. Yes. You know Slenderman, Brandy? Yes. Would you care to explain it to us? I can't explain it. I know who he is. I know what he looks like, but I can't. Well, really you can't explain it. Okay. Really. He's like really tall and creepy and dark, and he yeah. wears a suit. Basically, there's like this game. If you go online and you just like, you basically have to like collect notes in a forest, and if you like get too close to Slenderman, he'll attack you. And it's just like a creepy dude in the forest, and I don't know. It's like he takes children and stuff. So um, Fun. basically, uh, you know, a lot of people go overboard with all these memes and all these just stories. People just go overboard. So this 12 year old girl or something. I, th- I think she was 12. She was only 12? She might have been older, but she, one of the girls was 12. She stabbed another girl to, like, please him at a sleepover. So she's like, what? Slender Man would want me to destroy you, so I'm going to do it for him so I can oh, appease him. Like, he was kind of some sort of god figure. That's not good. So that was in the news um, today. That was actually on um, BuzzFeed. I actually have the article here. It's, like, really disturbing. Um, yeah. The girls reportedly wanted to become proxies of Slender Man. Um, who was depicted as a tall, faceless figure. The attack happened in June during a sleepover and um, reported only Miss one of the... Oh, the girl who got stabbed um, was only... The girl who stabbed the other girl only missed that girl's major arter- artery by a millimeter. So she was... Oh she could have killed her, but I think that girl's fine. Um, I hope so. Yeah, so sh- they have hearing schedules for December 18th. That's why this news is... Um, prominent right now and they're saying that they're honestly uh, not physi- psychologically um, yeah, that's s- n- sane that's so normal. they can't really I don't think they can go to jail but they're being tried for um, some sort of psychological Wait, does that disorder. say 19 times it does <laughs> oh, you stabbed her 19 times it does say 19 times yeah Ew. that okay 19 no. times in order to please underman yep so yeah Jeez. So some people just go way too people far. These days. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Must have really believed Slender Man was a real thing. <laughs> Ew, it's not little yeah. girl. Yeah. Oh my god. Obviously she needs a little bit of uh, counseling, but uh, the other know. girl's fine, so alrighty. Let's move on. On a brighter note. On a, well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about the cake boss thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really brighter at all. News is always so depressing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. So, the cake boss, Buddy, Buddy Velastro. Yes. From New Jersey. The best. Um, he just got arrested for, for a DWI. Um, he was swerving in Manhattan. In his 2014 um, convertible, or Corvette, or wow. something. It's like a, this beautiful, I saw a picture, it's like this beautiful yeah. yellow Corvette. This a is yellow not the first time he's been, like, with the law, I think. Something, really? some other incident happened about oh. his boat or something. Oh, was that it? Or Because I know something about his brother-in-law, Remy. Yeah, tell us what happened. Because I used to really love the show. I used to watch it, like, in ninth grade, 10th grade, when it was, like, really popular. Um, and I remember one of his sister's husbands, um, so his brother-in-law, um, was charged for rape or molestation, and he had to go to jail, and he was obviously never sh- shown on the show ever again. Um, so, yeah, that was, like, one media scandal that yeah. occurred with Cake Boss. So, Come yeah. on, guys, get it together. Apparently, and um, when he was being arrested, he, like, yelled. He's like, you can't arrest me. I'm the Cake Boss. Are you serious? <laughs> oh obviously, that means you're above the law. <laughs> Do yeah. you make yeah, cakes for does. TLC? Obviously, the law doesn't apply to you. Um, and he failed his sobriety test, so... Obviously. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Poor guy. 
I mean, does that mean it's the end of like the show? Is the show still I on? I think it did end actually. He has a different show now. It's not the Cake Boss anymore. It was oh, it's on Next Great Baker. Yes. Yeah, and it's like a competition sort of thing. I've seen a couple episodes of that. I've it been to like the Cake like to um the one in Manhattan, right? No, I've been to the one in Hoboken. Oh, really? Before. Yeah. How was it? I thought it. I mean, it was really crowded, and yeah. I saw like some of the sisters and stuff. I yeah. thought it was a really cool experience because it's like on TV. Mm-hmm. And um, is it actually good? Oh my god, it was so good. Yeah, yeah. I had a cannoli because I love cannolis. Like better than any other bakery because I used been, to work at a bakery. It's so. been pretty good. It was pretty good. Okay. Like it wasn't like it. I mean, I don't really go to bakeries and often, so. Yeah. But like it was, they were really good. Um, and then I also had, I think it was called, like, the lobster tail. Yes. Those are, those like, probably the trademarks there. They were literally perfect. Mm-hmm. Those are really, like, hard to make well. Yeah, no, they were re- they were done really, really well. That's amazing. And um, I, th- I don't, like, it just is such a cute little store. And, like, I went, like, yeah. early morning, like, right when they opened. So I wasn't, like, waiting that- so long. That's but, like, good. some people have waited, like, hours. Lines out the door. Mm-hmm. Like, like, crazy. My um, cousin lives in Hoboken. <laughs> and I always see her, like, tweets and stuff. And she's like okay, like, I'm trying to get to work. I don't need you to be in behind the picture of you and your little kid outside of, of like, out of oh, this wow. thing. Like, she, like, walks past it every day, and she just, like, doesn't, she just gets annoyed by it. It's just, like, it's a natural, natural thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. You know what's better than Cake Boss, though? Ace of Cakes. I loved that show with Duff Goldman. I don't think I've ever seen it. They were so cool. Like, that was on um, Food Network instead oh, okay. of TLC. But they were so cool, and they ended the show, like, during their peak so like Ooh. they it was such a good show it was going going great i don't think they had that many seasons and i loved it and they just ended because they thought it was like enough like it was the time was over but um they're in baltimore um oh, okay. so basically i think they're still open and they have different they might have a different one also in a, like in another state i'm not really sure but they were really cool now i want cake yeah mm-hmm. i um <laughs> let's go get cake guys I also love the show on TLC. It was like the huge cakes. It was like ten feet tall cakes. Was it like one of those challenges, like the Food that. Network challenge? I used to love watching those. I used to love watching them fall over. Yeah, <laughs> when they'd have to like um, bring it over to yeah. the judging table just to see if yeah. it would stand still. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those, those were intense. Those got me on edge as yeah. a twelve-year-old. <laughs> yeah. I just remember, like, coming home from middle school, just like, oh, my God, I hope the cake survives. (laughs) Like, like that was my drama when I was 12. (laughs) Good times, good times. Our next regular news is... Um, Oh, yeah, this is um, cool, college-related. West Virginia University suspends Mm. all All Greek Greek life. This is actually a really sad story. Yeah, um, we've definitely heard stories about, like, hazing and stuff like that in fraternities and sororities, but... From all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, but um, in this case, um, one of the kids, um, he was a freshman. He was only 18 um, at West Virginia. They found him, like, unconscious in his fraternity house. He wasn't even in it yet. He was, like, pledging, going through the process. And they found him unconscious. Somebody tried to do CPR on him, but he ended up dying, unfortunately, at the hospital. Right, it was too um, late. And so the night before, didn't he tweet something? Was it? The, is this the same story? or there's a Maybe, I didn't story? hear anything about a tweet. I don't know. There was one that I, that I recently saw that it's like, I guess another person um, has passed away from hazing. And it said that, like, the night before he tweeted, like, oh, tonight's, got, like, is going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. And then he died the That's, next morning. That makes sense with um, yeah. the story, actually. So that might have been him. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, but, yeah, so it, was it alcohol poisoning or um, alcohol related, I, rather? I think it was. Um, I think it was. But he was definitely unconscious. And, and then, then nobody was around to... Uh, somebody tried to do CPR on him, and then I think... I don't know if somebody saw something happen, but he was at the hospital, but he ended up dying at the hospital. Yeah, so, so I guess it, it it got to a point yeah. where West Virginia had had so many, like, I guess, injuries and just, like, yep. so much harm done to all their students due to Greek life, and then finally one yeah, of them died, so and that's the point it had to come to for them to suspend it. Yeah. There are schools that don't have... Um, like, my boyfriend's school doesn't have sororities or fraternities because of a uh, scandal, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, they just don't have it. So, who knows what's going to happen with West Virginia, because as of right now, all Greek life is suspended, like, sororities yeah. and fraternities Isn't are done. Isn't it really so. big down there? Yeah. Oh, West yeah. Virginia is huge. It's a huge school. Like, that's probably, it's crazy down there. That's yeah, why and so a lot of people probably go there for the Greek life. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's so sad when something like this happens, because he was only a freshman, like, he probably wanted to experience, like, of oh, course. Greek life, and then something like this happened. Like, imagine how his family feels right now. Of course. They, they might not have even known he was dealing with the process yeah. that's that's shocking mm-hmm. who knows so yeah that i guess that just goes to show that like you need to be like strict with how your your greek life operates at your school because you don't want it to get to the point where someone actually dies or mm-hmm. more yeah. people actually get hurt um so yeah everybody be careful be nice to each yes. other 
be careful. Make conscious decisions, guys. Yeah. Um, yep. Anyways, so yeah. that's it for regular, regular news. news. We're on to pop culture now. Ooh, pop culture. Pop culture. We always have a lot for pop culture. Yes, mm-hmm. we love pop culture. We do. So first, we can talk about Mockingjay Part 1. It comes out on Friday, I think, or maybe like Thursday midnight premiere kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm excited. I don't know if you guys are excited. because I'm excited. You're excited? Yes. I still um, haven't seen the fir- the second one. I don't think I saw the second it's one either. It's on Netflix, guys. You're oh, telling me to go on Netflix and watch my stuff? <laughs> watch mock, uh, Catching Fire. It's good. Okay. It was good. I want to read the books. I have the books as well, so I can hook you up. All right. But the books were great, and I it's kind of, like, sad because, you know, when you go into a movie, you kind of just, like, want to be shocked. But, like, if you read the book first, you, like, know what's going to happen yeah. in the mm-hmm. movie, so it's, like, you're constantly comparing the book to the movie. True. So I'm excited, but I just, like, I hope it's, like, as good as the book. But this book wasn't my favorite. Okay. So I'm not expecting this movie to be that great. But uh, who knows? Like maybe like with all the cinematic like features that we have, it'll be like really awesome fighting scenes and like. This is L- Mockingjay's the last one, right? Yeah, but like, they split it up into two parts. Though. Okay. No, they split it up into two. My favorite was actually the first one. Oh. Like the first book. I really liked the first movie. A yeah, lot. I and the book. I didn't read the book, but I liked the first movie. The book was just so incredible because it was just such a new and interesting topic. It just like yeah. was like whoa, and mm-hmm. then like obviously when you get into it, it's like okay, what's gonna happen? You get used to it. Um, but yeah, I don't really like how they're splitting it up into two parts. It's like it's just like just obvious. Make more money. Yeah, it's so obvious. Drag it out. It's so obvious that they want to make more money, and that's also what's like making me feel uneasy about it. Yeah. And also because it's like it's a trilogy, I'd like it to be one, two, three. Yeah, that's just how I feel. Um, also, another movie that we should talk about is Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Me and Brandy both saw it. Um, yeah. Caitlin, do you know what it's about? No, I wasn't invited. Thank. <laughs> we went on separate days yeah. actually, so. Sorry about that. No excuses. I'll go again with you if you want to see it. But um, I went because of Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, I love Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm a, a big fan of his. And I love all the movies that he picks to do because they're all so interesting but, like, creepy. And that's exactly and what Nightcrawler was. that's exactly was. what it was. Yep. Yeah. So, basically, um, Nightcrawler, um, Jake Gyllenhaal was a creepy dude who just needed a job, needed to make money. And he was basically... Oh, wait. I think I know what this is about. Yeah. He was, like, a thief at first. So, he would steal, like, manhole covers and fences and sell them to, like, um, garage... Like, what are they called? Like, a, a dump? Dump. Just, yeah. like, just sell it to dumps. Makes, like, 15 bucks. But um, he discovered that he could make more money by filming news, like, breaking news stories. So... Yeah, like, he would go to house fires, um, like, a, sh- a shooting. He would get the most bloody and the most gory yep. scenes, and then he'd and he sell them. do anything. Yeah, and it was them. it was important for us mass comm majors, because it was, like, about media law and ethics. And exactly. It, it was, was perfect. It was literally about MCO 300. Yep, so all you mass comm majors, go and see Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> it really thinks you, makes you think about morality, but, like, in a cool yeah. way. So it's not, it's like, cool. it's not, like, boring or anything. Um, But, yeah, it was awesome. I recommend it. Definitely. Let's see okay. what else we have for you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys know who DM Brown is. I don't really know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I think that's right. Um, but she recently passed away from cancer. Yeah. Um, she was on The Real World in 2006. Mm-hmm. So that was like the MTV yeah. show, right? Yeah. Yeah, and she was also like an MTV correspondent or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and she announced that she actually had cancer on The Real World, I believe. And so she, it's been a while for her battling. Yeah, so she's thirty. Um, she was thirty-two. Yeah, that's the thing. She was only thirty-two. Like that's so that's young. So that's literally like ten years. That's what makes it even worse. That's like, crazy. Yeah, but um, she actually established like um support groups and stuff after she was on the Real World. So she, you know, did everything she could. But yeah. unfortunately, she passed away. So. She, like, utilized her time and her um, talents yes. wisely. So yes, she did. Prayers go out to her family and her friends. Yeah. That's really sad. Um, let's see. Anything, the, Caitlin? Um, Third wheel. I mean, we always have stuff about um, Kim, Kim yeah. Kardashian. Oh, yes. This is kind of like a little uh, tidbit, I guess we could just say, but Kim wants to buy North her own island. Yeah, I don't because, know. like, a one-year-old can do so much with an island. I mean, maybe when she's older and she has, like, little parties. Yeah, <laughs> she what I was cool reading, friend. she wants to, birthday, um, turn up. She wants to build, like, um, an amusement park on it or something for her. But like, I would go. Yeah, she's not sure about it yet, though. It's still in the works. The Northwest Amusement Park, I would go. I am obsessed with so Northwest. Stupid. She's the Did you just say she's, she's stupid? She no, I didn't won. say she's stupid. I said that the fact that Why are you yelling? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that her mom wants to buy her an island. Her mom she's is Kim Kardashian. West. Like she her father is Kanye. Yeah, I know. 
Thank like, you. what do you think they're going to get her a ball pit for her yeah, birthday? Right? Her first birthday was a mini Coachella. I can't I even know. go to real yeah. Coachella. I know. They made a fake Coachella. I'm going to have to make a fake Coachella, and it's not even going to be as good as Northwest. It's going to be like me and Brandy in your backyard. We're like, literally going to be on <laughs> swing sets. That would be a good time, okay? Yeah, it would be. But, but like, they had a small um, stage. They had, like, a little Ferris wheel. Yeah. That Coachella was better than the real Coachella. And North had no idea what was going yeah. on. Yeah. Like, but she's going to look back on it and be like, this was awesome. Yep. Oh, I love her. So, Did yeah. you guys see the little hot chocolate picture of her? No, I didn't. Oh, my oh, God. That's the cutest thing. little hair. Did you see the picture? It was, like, in front of the paparazzi. It was the paparazzi. Yeah. The paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, mm-hmm. like straight-faced. And then it's, like, at home. Oh. They're, like, laughing. They're so that was precious. beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Um, Kanye's a lucky man to have two beautiful yes. women in his life. He is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of beautiful women, Solange Knowles. Her wedding and her photos. Okay. Yeah, she was. Did you guys like, see that? I did not. I didn't I know saw the, she was engaged or. Married. I know. I just <laughs> saw the pictures. Like, I f- they look. So, her and Beyonce look so much alike. I know, but like, see, nobody like knows about Solange because her. Sister Actually, Beyonce. no. The only people, <laughs> only reason people know about Solange is because she beat. She like beat up. No, Kenzie. everybody knew about Solange before she punched yeah. Jay. I didn't. Are you serious? Really. You really didn't? No, I didn't. I always knew Solange was a thing because people would make fun of her and be like, oh yeah, Beyonce's sister, what's her name? And like people would be like, Beyonce has a sister? And uh, I'd feel bad, be like, yes, it's Solange, she's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, her wedding uh, photos were so classy. It was it was yeah. art. She wore a cape. Oh yeah, she it was did? beautiful. Yeah. White, beautiful, like white, creamy. Like all her guests and Beyonce were in white. Her mother was in white. Um, her husband um, was wearing a white tux, I believe. And it was just... They rode a bike Ooh. to the they, yeah, they wore bike. Uh, they wore so bikes. Romance. They rode bikes. They rode bikes. If they wore bikes, that would be like Lady Gaga's wedding. <laughs> like they wear a bike. They oh, ride I in on a pony. I actually did see these pictures. I'm looking at Hatch them. Hatch right out now. of an egg. Aren't they great? Those are like beautiful photos. That's what I'd like and my photos to be. It's a little picture of Blue reaching up to her. Aww. Blue Ivy and Northwest. Do you think they're going to be friends? I really hope so. Because I feel like Beyonce doesn't like him. I don't think she does either. Because Kim asked Beyonce to be, like, a bridesmaid, and she, like, completely rejected Kim. Actually, maybe they won't be friends. I feel like they're... Jay-Z and Kanye are friends, but mm. I don't think the mommies like each other. Yeah. That's that's so... Mama <laughs> drama. So we'll see yeah, Mama drama. That, that the, happens in real life. Yeah. <laughs> By the time we have kids, like, we'll North fit, and yeah. Blue are going to be, like... Yeah, we were talking about this. Like, they're going to be yeah. the Kendall and Kylie for our children. Yeah. That's so true. It's crazy. But, yeah... Uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, do you guys? I was just listening. Do you hear the the background sound in our earphones? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing like people from the sound booth. I'm just like going oh, crazy. Yeah. I thought I had like voices in my head, like I was like a psychopath or They're something. They're always being crazy in there. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else we want to hit on that's really important? We have 15 minutes left. Um, the Thanksgiving Day Parade is on. Oh yes, week. definitely should talk about that. Well, obviously, because it's Thanksgiving. Thank. Um, but. Uh, every year I go, and it's always so much fun. Alexa is coming with me this yes, year. Yes, thank you, Katie, for inviting me. I'm Brandy's so excited. Be the third wheel. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's just really fun. Like, normally they have, like, certain different people. And this year, I'm really excited. They have Nick Jonas, who I'm a huge fan of. And they have Hilary Duff. Yes. That's why we played both I of them. I just found out, like, 30 minutes before we went on air that Hilary Duff was coming, and I hyperventilated. She did. It was really funny. I, I love Hillary Duff. Like, she's perfect. She's, she's perfect. She's great. So I'm excited. Like, I don't know. Apparently, Katie says that they do press. So, like, if if one of the celebrities is walking past us by where we s- we're standing at the parade, we can talk to them, take a photo with them. And I'm just hoping that Hillary Duff walks by so I can just tell her how much I love her. Taylor Swift is also going to be there. And yes. I'm really excited. You were really good in guessing who was coming. This yeah, year. I o- since I've been going so many years and I always look up and see who's going to be there, I always try my best to make a little prediction of who is going to be there. And this year I thought that it was maybe going to be One Direction, but they're not there. And then I thought Adina I Menzel. I kind of figured they wouldn't be there. And then I thought Adina Menzel, who is going to be there. She's from Frozen, obviously. Yes. Good choice. Good pick. Um, Jick Jonas, I called a long time ago. Jick Jonas? No. Yes, <laughs> no. Is that what Jonas. Is that what you said? <laughs> <Nick> Jonas. <laughs> and then I also said, and, uh, um, oh, Taylor Swift is also going to be there. And she's going to be there. So and I'm apparently really nobody shows up two years in a row except for Kristen Chenoweth. Is that Kristen Chenoweth has been there two years in a row. And Adina Menzel, this will be her second year, but not in a row. Why well, yeah. are you not allowed to go two years in a row? They like to switch it up. Yeah, they, oh, okay. I guess they share the wealth. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. Nice. Well, 
fill you in. Oh, this is our last one before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, so, so we'll fill you in afterwards. I think we have two more shows. Turkey for me. Wow. Is it, what did you just say? Turkey <laughs> for me? <laughs> turkey for me. Oh, turkey, turkey for me. I think turkey <laughs> farming. I was like, yeah, what about... <laughs> <laughs> is that like your future profession? Like, <laughs> turkey farming. Turkey farming. How do you do that? <laughs> Who knows? Um, There's like turkeys by my house. Really? Yeah, they run around. Wait, what do you mean? Like, I've they're seen, wild. Yeah, I've seen like a turkey before no by my house. Yeah. I have really like weird. drove to my brother's school. Really? I, that's so weird because I've never seen a chipmunk before until like last year, and I, I had to go to chipmunk. I had to go to like a forest to see it, and I've never seen a black squirrel until I came to Iona. I've never seen a black squirrel before Neither I came to Iona. There's chipmunks all by Rice. Whenever I go to Rice, Are you serious? there's chipmunks everywhere. Yeah. I've Same never walking seen from East Chester to here. There's so many of. There's also a cat. There's a black cat that runs around. Oh, <laughs> I've really seen cute. one of those before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, okay, yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, the first time I saw a chipmunk, I almost, like, ran it over with my bike. That's how I oh. noticed. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I forgot who I was telling, but if I was, like, a little outside creature, I would want to be a chipmunk. Like, f- Don't you think that they could easily be taken away by, like, a hawk or something? I never really thought about that. <laughs> but Sorry, did I ruin your life? <laughs> yeah, you did, actually. Your, your fantasy? I wouldn't want to be a deer, because I feel like deers just don't know how to cross streets, and they always get yeah. themselves I into trouble. I want to be a squirrel. You want to be a squirrel? Really? Yeah, they're Explain awesome. Yourself. They're just I like, would- no, oh, th- that's <laughs> literally Katie. <laughs> just like you. I would like to be a bird because I could just go wherever I wanted. I would like to be a bird. So I, I wouldn't have to buy a plane to fly away. I wouldn't have to buy a plane Brandy, if, <laughs> if you're a bird, I'm a bird. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, on to our last section. Oh, tweets and yik yaks. My favorite. I love this section. Tweets and yik yaks. This makes me giggle. Tweets and yik yaks. We have a lot today, so we're going to spend like basically the last half of our show, or the last quarter of our show, just talking about funny tweets and yik yaks that we found this week. Um, I found this amazing Twitter. It's called First Date Questions Twitter, and it's because I follow like this guy from BuzzFeed, <laughs> obviously, on Twitter, and he retweeted it, and it's just like a brand new account, but um, look it up. It's like so funny. It's called First Date Questions Twitter. Um, so basically it's just like everything you should ask when you're on a date with somebody. <laughs> it's comedy gold. Okay, so the first one I thought was funny was how many times a week do you cry? Like, can you imagine asking somebody that on the a question date? question is how many times a week do you not cry? Oh, turn oh. around. Negating that statement. <laughs> what about this? How many donuts can you fit in your mouth at once? Probably three. I think I could do three. Donuts? donuts? I could probably do three. Three? Probably three, yeah. Okay, so there's an answer to that first date question. <laughs> um, what's your favorite SpongeBob quote? That actually would be a really good first date question because yeah. that would start a lot of conversation. Mm. How passionate are you about chicken nuggets? I love chicken nuggets. That's a great question also because you can talk about like, do you like McDonald's? Do you like Wendy's? These are really important questions. Exactly. You need to know ice about breakers. somebody. This last one is the yeah. best one. They're basically just all ice be- uh, icebreakers. Um, this last one's like a really important 90s, early 2000s kid question. How do you think cat, cat dog, dog pooped? Wow. They didn't. I don't like, I don't know. That's my answer. They didn't do it. You never saw it. They never did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have um, four more, but then Caitlin has this, like, really awesome Twitter that she found, so she'll we'll do that afterwards, but yeah. this one's just, like, a random yik yak that I found. Let's be honest. The only reason I'm majoring in psychology is to figure out what the heck is wrong with me. That's valid. Funny. That's so true, though. <laughs> valid. <laughs> Um, the next one's ooh, so funny. I like this one. This one's so funny. Wiz Khalifa's full name is oh. E oh. Elizabeth. Or Elizabeth. Elizabeth. You were Elizabeth. I thought it was a typo. Why would that be a typo? Okay, I'm gonna start over, guys. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa's full name is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Khalifa. Khalifa. <laughs> I like that. Imagine like it wasn't like it was a typo, and she says his name is just like actually Elizabeth, and <laughs> he just goes by Wiz. <laughs> what is his actual name? Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth Khalifa. Elizabeth. Wiz Khalifa. Elizabeth Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> Can I read the next one? Yes. <laughs> Does your foot ever fall asleep and you're just like, well, this is my life now. I have one foot. <laughs> I just have one foot. <laughs> All the time. Is Remember it? that one time we were at um this we were at the voice um performance freshman year. We were on the hill by Cornelia. Mm-hmm. I got up after sitting and watching this performance and I literally had no right <laughs> leg. <laughs> I, was like, I remember that. I was so scared. I was like, Brandy, I, I can't feel my leg. And, like, I had just met Brandy at this point. So, like, I <laughs> feel like, like, what is this? Yeah, I, like, I think I, like, just freaked her out or something. So, I was like, honestly, I have no leg. And she was like, what are you talking about? It's right there. 
<laughs> have you ever woken up in the middle of the night and your, ha- your arm is dead and just like it scares yeah, my me. pinky is always dead whenever i wake up it's that's weird. so strange just my pinky but yeah pinky. usually like my arm is usually dead and i just have to like you have to like pick it up yeah with your other arm like has both of your arms ever fallen asleep at the same time I don't think so. My, because like, you can only really lay on one arm. You don't fall asleep like this. What like, if you lay down and yeah, you put you your hands like behind that. your back or you're like, yeah, you hold them? It's possible. It is possible. Yeah, I don't um, think it's common. It? I <laughs> kind of like how it feels when my foot falls asleep. Is that weird? I like the sensation <laughs> when it starts to wake up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like when it's numb. That freaks me out. But when it's all pins and needly, yes. I like that. I agree. It's like the static on the TV. That's how yeah. it feels. Like that, The way that looks is how it feels. Yeah. Um, you want to read the last one, Brandy? Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm still, like, looking at pictures of Wiz Khalifa. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Um, okay. Oh, she's his full name. Trying to make your ex jealous is like subtweeting someone who unfollowed you. True. Yep. That was some truth spilled right there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Caitlin, do you want to yeah, share I with have, us um, amazing Twitter? I have up the page, Unanswered Verses. Which is really funny. It's like was questions crying. questions that were in the song. They like answer they like question them. They're like, let's see, um, did Kesha's place ever blow? Like this this oh, place is about to blow. We yeah. sang way too much today. Um <laughs> did, not <good> either. <laughs> did Kanye ever found out how she could be so heartless? Yes, he did. Um for the record. <laughs> did that girl from Frozen ever let it go? <laughs> I was like laughing harder at these at lunch. Uh, <laughs> did they ever find out who let the dogs out? Um, if it wasn't Shaggy, who was it? <laughs> it was Shaggy. He was just denying it. <laughs> um, he was like, "Dude, what should I do? She caught me." He's like, "Say it wasn't you." <laughs> did Drake ever get home? We should play some Shaggy on here next. Week. I agree. What'd you say? Drake did, ever did, get home? Did <laughs> what? <laughs> did it? Did, 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 did Drake ever get home? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! It's time to do it, do it, do Did Rih- Did anyone ever tell Rihanna what her name was? What's my I name? Oh no! Okay, I'll do one more. Um, did Soldier Boy ever tell him? No. no. <laughs> okay. Bum, and bum. that's it for the tweets and yik yaks. Do you remember when Soldier Boy like yeah. released that song? It was like "Kiss Me Through the Phone." Kiss he me like through the phone. he sent his num- well a fake mm-hmm. number out. Did he really? Yeah, at the end it was like dun, 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 dun. Oh, that was that was really good, Alexa. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> like those were numbers that I just said. But like he said like some sort of number. I forgot what it was. But people would like try and call it. We were like in sixth grade at a dance. It like came on. Everybody whipped out their cell phones and started serious? calling Soldier Boy. They're like, he's gonna answer. Like yeah, no, he's okay. not. I think it was somebody's actual number and like basically just had to change their number after that's that. awful <laughs> that's really funny i would pretend i was soldier boy and be like, like yeah what's, what's up? up what up girl? yeah that's me kiss me through the phone <laughs> <laughs> um so anyway um <laughs> why are you so <laughs> awkward so, <laughs> so okay cool that's it for <laughs> tweets and yik yaks um we're gonna go to my own happenings now <laughs> <laughs> thank you that's okay. literally how you do transitions. You're like, so anyway. <laughs> we're like so good at transitions sometimes. Yeah, and then right. other times we're like so awkward. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're just going to move on. Today was very awkward. You're the singing, the cry. quizzes. <laughs> we're making Katie cry now. She's so awkward today. Like, guys, we're nice <laughs> to her, so, I promise. They're real so awkward. <laughs> no. Okay, anyway. I, this week is the Thanksgiving food job. <laughs> it's the food drive. Um, they're due on Monday for the Thanksgiving baskets. Yeah, um, give to those families in need because you don't want to have a Thanksgiving where you don't have any food and those less fortunate can't afford it. Yeah. So they want like gravy, instant milk, mashed potatoes. Why are you laughing, Katie? <laughs> this is serious third wheel. Come on. Seriously, um, but seriously, they're due on Monday. So give as much as you can. Go to CVS. Just go to a little thing. It doesn't have to be a lot. Like whatever. Yeah. Some as juice. As you, yep. A little will like change a lot for a whole family. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, and speaking of Thanksgiving, six days until we out of That's here. exactly Woo. what Alexa wrote in our email. She said six days until we outie. <laughs> and then seven days. <laughs> Brandy, was like, <laughs> Brandy was being the girl from The Ring. Yeah. Maybe tonight. I'll say six days. She, Brandy came out of the well I, and was like seven days. When I put my hair over my face, I actually look like her. Oh I my used God. to do that in like, the pool all the time. Mm-hmm. I used to look like George Washington in the pool. My <laughs> friend was that. We did that. Flip it over. Yep. Mm-hmm. Everybody did that. How is that possible that all these <laughs> trends like for children just like I know. facilitate through? I know crazy but yeah anyway so that's awesome thanksgiving's coming up hope you guys eat a whole bunch yes. of turkey enjoy your family pumpkin pie oh my gosh Ooh, i can't wait thanks day parade 
Oh, yeah. So, like, everybody watch the parade. Maybe me and Katie will be on TV. Who knows? Look for us. Hi, Mom. Bunch of new balloons this year. Watch Taylor Swift. Watch Hillary Duff. Oh, my God. I love her so Watch much. Nick Jonas. Watch Nick Jonas. This is going to be a great parade. It will be. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, safe Thanksgiving. Enjoy your days off. And relax all. before finals. Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely relax before finals. Hope you guys do well. Go shopping on Black Friday. Oh. Yes. Um, I didn't hear that much about Black Friday this year. I don't think there's any really good sales, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Black Friday is always overrated, to be honest. Yeah. Like, it's so dangerous, too. Yeah. Like, everybody, some every year, somebody at Walmart gets trampled. Yeah. yeah. Literally every year. Mm-hmm. There's always videos on YouTube, and I end up watching them, <laughs> and my dad's like, look how crazy this is. I'm like, okay, Dad. <laughs> like, it's literally someone, like, oh being God. squished. Avoid the crowds. Participate in Cyber Monday. That's good. Yep. Yep, that's a good idea. All right, thank you guys again for listening. Yeah, thanks always. It was great. Um, So are we going to be here again next week? Nope. Wednesday? Oh, yeah. Two weeks from today, we'll see you guys again. We'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Thanks again for listening. My name's Alexa. My name's Brandy. My name's Caitlin. And And we're we're the Third third Wheel. Wheel. Bye, guys. Bye. WICR presents This Moment.